It's the first time at Wimbledon today for Molly McCann, who is the first English woman to win in the UFC. And you watch Wimbledon as a child, but yeah. here you are, baby. You've made it. How's it been so far? It's been absolutely amazing. Um, we've been picked up from the station in a Mercedes, <laughs> uh, brought okay. down to the IMG suite, complimentary. So um, it's a brilliant day for me and a first. I'm absolutely buzzing. Okay, you're going to be on center court. You're going to yeah. see Rafa and Roger. You're also going to see Johanna Kanta mm -hmm. against Petra Kvitova. What are yeah. you most looking forward to today? Probably Fed. Probably looking forward to watching Federer. But um, to be honest, just taking it all in. It's it's absolutely massive for like a girl from Liverpool, very working class, coming up and getting treated like she's like royalty today. I just I can't believe it. We've got unreal seats. We're like third third row from the front. I just can't wait to go and have some um, strawberries and cream. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> Please have one for know, me. Yeah. And for you, you watch Wimbledon mm -hmm. a lot as a kid, is that right? Yeah, so I'm 29 now. I've probably been watching since pre-Tim Hemming days or just as he was starting, to be honest. So before Hawkeye and all of that was around, um, like previously said to you before, my mum would let me have the day off school or the weeks off school to watch Wimbledon. And um, I think... I don't know, it was always Wimbledon mania. Every summer you'd go and get a tennis racket and a tennis ball, and we don't really have too many tennis courts in Liverpool. We've got Calderstones Park, which is grass, but we don't really have too much else, so we'd just be playing in the street against against the houses. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah so I don't know, it's really nice to just be able to come and experience it firsthand and something I've been watching for about 19 years. Can we draw any parallels between UFC fighting and tennis? The only thing I can think of is like I the one-on-one -on -one So it's 1v1. And you haven't got a coach there, in, you know, like yeah. your coach. It's more you, 1v1 when you're in there. Um, what else? You've got to knock them out. You've got to knock them out, <laughs> yeah. Um, the mental pressure is very much the same. Um, and the game plan and being able to implement that straight away because in tennis, there's different styles of play on the grass court, isn't there? And in MMA, you have a different style of opponent. It could be more of a grappler, more of a striker. And here you could have more save and volley or someone who's going to stay more on the baseline. Yeah. So, um, yeah, being able to adapt quick and have initiative, I think we're both very much the same. And sometimes you get hit in the face by the balls. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah so. You're going to have to be careful. I know, that. yeah. Some head movements. I'll be all right. There we go. Now, uh, there's plenty of parallels to be made, but no one in tennis is nicknamed the Meatball, which yeah. is your nickname. We, tell me the story. What is that? So, when I went to university, um, I didn't start I'm a mate till I was 23. And at uni, I didn't get a student loan, so I had to work my way through. So, I worked at a very famous sandwich restaurant called Subway. So I'd work the night shift, 11 at night till 7 in the morning, go straight to the gym, train, smell enough meatballs, shower the go to uni and then, and then do it all again. So one day my coach was like, you stink of meatballs. I was like, well, I've got to put, I, I need to put uh, food on the table. Do you know what I mean, Paul? Yeah. So, um, yeah, when I'm fighting though and when I weigh in, people call me like a piece of salami instead. Yeah. And then right now people will call me a meatloaf because I'm carrying a bit of extra timber post. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the summer now. I only competed two weeks ago. I was in uh, South Carolina in Greenville mm. and um, I've just won out there. Congrats. Just, thank you, just signed a four fight contract. So fingers crossed to win the next two. Um, then it'll be a world title for Little Old Meatball. Oh, well, fantastic. I, I love that story, by the way. And today you get to watch some of the, the, best, the best, most standout ever. female athletes, especially mm -hmm. too, which is impeccable. Yeah, I mean, uh, if when I was asked who would you like to watch, I was like most definitely Serena Williams because she, she has just made so much ground for females in sports and because of her, more people are getting paid a better wage and being taken serious and she's just like sticking it to the man right now, which I really appreciate. And then you've got little Coco, who's um, because of Serena and Venus, she is now yep. doing what she's doing. So like in MMA, that was like Ronda Rousey for me. So if I ever got the chance to see her, it would be unreal. And then today watching Coco on this court because of what Serena's done and the, the blueprint they've set out for here. It's just like, it's just amazing. That's it's just awesome. amazing. Yeah. All right, well, enjoy your day at Wimbledon. Yes. And I'm hungry for some meatballs now, so I'm going to go find <laughs> some lunch. Cool. Thank you, no problem.